Hello to all of our lovely Temple Guys and children. I hope you're having a lovely day and enjoying our wellbeing day. So I decided that I wanted to set you a challenge for your wellbeing day and that was going to be a little pamper. So we are going to make some homemade face masks. So I've got two different ones that you can make. Um, so hopefully you'll have these ingredients in your cupboards. The first one, we've got an avocado, some yogurts, and I've got some porridge oats in my cup, okay? So I'm gonna start off with that one first, which is gonna make us look nice and green. So first of all, I'm gonna cut my avocado in half. You might want to help with your mums or dads to use the sharp knife, because they can be quite hard to cut into. I'm gonna get a bowl, and I'm going to scoop out all the lovely green bits inside. Take that out, which is nice and gooey. Pop that into my bowl. There we go. So I probably use just over about half of my avocado, but you can use as much as you like. And then what I'm gonna do is get a fork and I'm just gonna mash it down so it goes nice and smooth and it's not lumpy. So that's looking nice and mashed in there. Before you do this, check with your mums or dads that you don't have any allergies, anything you're allergic to, or before you put it on your skin, because obviously we don't want anyone to have any reactions to anything. There, so that one is now all nice and mashed up and looking lovely and green. So. Next, I'm going to add in a bit of yogurt. So you can use any yogurt, any flavour, it doesn't matter at all. I've got a banana one, so I'm just gonna put in probably about a quarter of my yogurt pot. Doesn't really matter too much, you can just pop it in, mix it so it has a nice gooey consistency. And you kind of want it to be quite thick, but not too, not too thick. And then I pop those ones in. And the last thing I'm gonna put in is probably a couple of tablespoons full of porridge oats. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that in and that'll give it a nice grainy texture. And mix it all in and it smells really lovely. So it'll be making you feel nice and hungry probably while you're doing it. <laughs> So that is number one face mask, all made up there, okay? So it's looking like that. So we've got our avocado, our porridge oats, and in there as well, our yogurt, okay? So I'm gonna pop that one to the side and then gonna make our second one. For our second one, we are gonna use banana, our yogurt again, and our porridge oats. So it's just dependent on what you've got at home in the cupboards. And if you don't have any of these ingredients, there are lots of different recipes online that you can try. So it's just all about having a bit of fun. So I'm going to get my banana and I'm gonna mash it on a chopping board again, using a fork, so that will probably be the best way to do it. And again, mash it up so it's nice and smooth doesn't have to be completely smooth. And it's nice and messy for all the mums and dads helping you out here. <laughs> Face masks are really good to look after your skin. They can hydrate them, put lots of moisture in them and they're really good at making your skin feel nice and soft and fresh. So I've mashed up my banana. And what I'm gonna do now is pop it into my bowl. Which again, is all nice and mushy. So that's our banana in there. And then I'm gonna pop in again about a quarter of my yogurt, maybe a little bit more, see what you think. And give it a good mix around. I've gone for a banana yogurt and banana, so it's all smelling very banana-y here. And then I'm gonna add in again about two or three tablespoons of my porridge oats. So I pop those in and it'll give it a nice grainy texture. 
you think that you might want to add a bit more projects if it's looking a bit runny you can so I'm just going to pop a little bit more in there okay so these are both looking really really lovely so we've got two options of face masks you can make one or you can make both we've got our avocado and our banana so then the fun part is going to be putting these on our faces so if you have got long hair like me i would probably recommend tying it back just because you don't want any avocado or banana in your hair because that wouldn't be good and popping a hairband on to keep it off of your face okay then what we're going to do is we're going to put this all over our faces but we are going to be really careful to get none in our eyes up our nose or in our mouths because and it, it might make it a little bit sore and it might not taste too good, okay? So if you do get anything near your eyes, just get some cold water and wash it straight off. But we're gonna use our fingers to apply it, so nice and easy. And then we're just gonna pat it round our face. Once that's on, I like to then get some cucumber so you can get your mums or dads to help you and pop that on your eyes. So we're looking really lovely. And then we're gonna leave that on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then just wash it off with some warm water and a flannel. You can even use a bit of soap or face wash if you want to, okay? Um, I'd really love to see some pictures of your face masks. So if you could send, pop those on the website or email them over to us, I'd be really, really grateful to see them. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'm just gonna pop my face mask on now so you can see me looking really silly. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the avocado one because I think I would like to look nice and green and I love a bit of avocado. So I've got my avocado one. The easiest way to apply it is going to be with your hands to get nice and messy. If you don't want to use your hands, um, you can use like a spatula or a spoon to help you put it on a little bit into your hands. But I just think hands nice and messy. So I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna put it on quite thickly and put it all over our faces, okay? It actually smells really nice. It's quite, sort of difficult to put on so you have to just pat it on and get as much on with it as you can and keep your nice hair out of the way pop it on round there and I'm going to put some down my nose and again it's nice nice and messy get it all over the face I'll also pop a photo on of me when it's all over my face looking nice and green like Shrek <laughs> I hope you enjoy this. It's a nice way to get messy, have fun, and give yourself a nice little pamper. And you could even get your mums and dads to join in too if you wanted to. So I think I've got quite a good amount on there. You can obviously put as much or as little as you like on to your faces. And then just leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and hopefully your skin will feel lovely and refreshed and smooth. There we go. So my last finishing touches is that I'm going to pop on some cucumber onto my eyes and I'm gonna leave that for about 10 to 15 minutes and wash it off. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you have a lot of fun making them today. And I am off to relax. See you later. Bye.